Finally, let's talk about combustion analysis. Combustion analysis is a way to determine the empirical formula for compounds containing carbon and hydrogen and up to one other element, okay? So uh, the way you do it is you determine the amount of carbon and hydrogen in your sample by burning your compound, burn your sample. You collect the water and the, and the carbon dioxide that's produced by the burning process. You set up traps to do this. And then based on the amount of carbon dioxide and water produced, you can figure out how much carbon came from the compound. All the carbon in your carbon dioxide came from the compound, okay? So you determine the number of carbon atoms in the compound from the amount of carbon dioxide molecules produced. And you can determine the number of hydrogen atoms that were in that sample of compound you had from the amount of water molecules obtained. If you were to do a Google search for combustion analysis images, Okay, this is what you will find. This one, some of the images you'll find. So here's a nice setup here, uh, basically what this entails. Okay, so you have a sample here to be analyzed. You run oxygen gas through it, and then you've got a burner down here. And then you have, okay, as, as, the, as the, uh, the carbon dioxide and the water is produced, goes through these tubes, okay, the water gets trapped here. And then over here in this tube, the carbon dioxide gets trapped. So you weigh this thing before and after. You get the amount of water that was produced. And you weigh this this one before and after to get the amount of carbon dioxide produced. Here's a ni much nicer uh, picture up here. Okay, it actually tells you what, what is used to trap the water. Okay, so there's a compound called magnesium perchloride that's in the water trap that used to, that's used to trap the water. And there's a sodium hydroxide in the carbon dioxide trap that's used to trap your carbon dioxide. Okay, so let's uh, look at an example. Let's say you have 2.305 grams sample of a compound. So you weighed it in the lab, you got 2.305 grams. And let's say this particular compound contains carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And as a result of the combustion analysis you found, you generated 4.401 grams of carbon dioxide and 2.703 grams of water. So what's the empirical formula of this compound based on this information? So let's figure out how much carbon we got. Okay, so carbon from carbon dioxide. Okay, so the carbon, you say, in the carbon dioxide came from the compound, right, from the sample. So you would say 4.401 grams carbon dioxide. And remember, since we want to do mole-to-mole -mole comparisons of the different elements, we have to uh, figure out moles. Okay, so one mole of CO2. You calculate the molar mass of CO2, or we can just look it up. Molar mass CO2. Okay, uh, let me see. Molar mass CO2. And it's 44.01 grams per mole. Okay, so that cancels out grams. This gives you, okay, that should be 0 0.1000 mole. Okay, now that is CO2. Okay, so how much carbon did it come from? From how much carbon did it come from? Well, there's a carbon in every CO2. Okay, so you say 0 0.1000 mole of CO2. The actual carbon is one mole of carbon from one mole of CO2. So the actual amount of carbon that you came from your sample is also... 0 0.100 moles. Okay, that's the moles of carbon. So you do the same thing for hydrogen from the water molecules that you generated. So the hydrogen in water, in the water molecules that you generated, that you collected, also came from the sample. So let's figure out how much hydrogen that is. So you're given 2.703 grams of water. Okay, so 2.703 grams of water. 
you have to change that to moles, one mole of water, okay? By now you should know that's 18.02 grams per mole, molar mass of water. That gives you the moles of water, but look at the formula for water. There's two hydrogen atoms in every molecule of water, so now you have to multiply that by two moles of H for every mole of H2O, so that you can figure out, so that you can figure out the moles of H that was in the water, which came from your sample. Okay, so this gives us. 2.703 divided by 18.02. That's the moles of water that we got from burning our sample. And all the hydrogen in that water came from our sample. And there's two hydrogens for every molecule of water. So multiply that by 2. That gives you 0.3. So 0 0.3000. The four sig figs, okay? So it's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 0 0.3000 moles of H. So the carbon to hydrogen ratio would be 1 is to 3. Okay? But it says you have oxygen in the compound. How do you figure out moles of oxygen? Well, what you can do is you can determine the mass of the carbon that was in the compound, which is 0 0.100 mole. The mass of the hydrogen in the compound corresponding to 0 0.300 mole. Subtract that from the total mass of compound and that will give you the mass of the oxygen. Okay, so you would say oxygen in the sample is total mass minus mass of carbon minus mass of hydrogen. Okay, so that's our, our total mass in this case is how much? Your total mass of sample is 2.3035 grams. Minus the mass of carbon. Well, carbon is, you have 0 0.1000 moles of carbon. And the molar mass of carbon is 12.01 grams per mole. Okay. And then you subtract the mass of hydrogen in your sample. Well, your hydrogen is 0 0.3000 moles. And one mole of hydrogen has a mass of 1.008 grams. So one times 1.008 grams per mole. Okay. So let's figure out those numbers. 2.3035. 2.3035 minus 0.1 times 12 is 1.201. 0.3 times 1.008. is 0.3024, okay, and so that gives us 2.3035 minus 1.201 minus 0 0.3024, 0 0.8001, okay. 0 0.8001 grams oxygen. And you can change that to moles since we want everything in moles. So that's grams oxygen. So moles of oxygen in the sample is 0 0.8001 grams divided by 16.00 grams per mole. And so that gives us 0.8001 divided by 16.0500 moles of oxygen. So now we have all the information we need. Okay. Our carbon to hydrogen to oxygen ratio is 0 0.1000 is to 0 0.3000 is to 0 0.05 
zero, zero. Okay, so 0 0.0500 0 0 moles oxygen, 0 0.3 moles of car hydrogen, 0 0.1 moles of carbon. So this is your mole to mole ratio. Mole to mole to mole ratio. So you can reduce that, divide everything by the smallest number. What's the smallest number? 0 0.05. Okay, so this becomes a 1. 0.1 divided by 0 0.05 is 2 okay and 0.3 divided by 0 0.05 is 15 huh? 0.3 divided by 0 0.05 is 6 okay so the formula of this compound then the empirical formula of this compound is C2H6O that's how you do combustion analysis